everybody, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'll be taking a look at one of the great value Zixel wireless access points that we've got available. I'll be unboxing the device for the first time, covering off what you get included, taking a look at the device itself, its key features, specs and range, and also showing you how to go about setting it up or mounting it for the very first time. Let's do this. The box itself is fairly simple, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's definitely very functional. And inside you'll find the access point itself. This is quite slimline. It comes in a white color as well. Perfect for say like a white suspended ceiling or a white wall. It will just blend in nicely and not look too cumbersome. I'll cover off the IO and the features of the router in a second. But first, let's take a look at what else you get included in the box. You get a power adapter with a range of different plug mounts. So here we've got uh, a European plug and also a UK plug. So it's modular and you just select the one that you need to use. Underneath the uh, cardboard packaging as well, you'll also find yourself uh, some screws and some mounting hardware alongside this plate. Now this is a really, really cool addition to this router. It allows you to mount the access point on a wall or on a ceiling uh, using this easy quick release. Basically, you screw this in to your required surface and then you slide the router in and out of place. It's super versatile as well with plenty of mounting holes so you can take your pick of whichever works best, allowing you to mount to secure points on a wall or a ceiling. As far as the device itself goes, you've got this nice logo in the center with a status indicator LED on the bottom right. This will flash green when everything is good, it will blink orange and green when there's a problem and it will flash orange quite aggressively if there's a major issue that needs addressing. On the underside of the device, there's plenty of ventilation, a little port for you to reset with something like a paper clip, and then you'll also find the 12 volt DC power connection, RJ45 uplink ethernet port, and then your console connection as well. This does support power over ethernet, so if you've got a switch that can inject power into the ethernet cable, you can bypass the 12 volt connection completely. Great for enterprise uh, sort of applications and deployments where you've got plenty of these uh, going up around an office or a building or even a house, for example, where you might want to ensure you've got the best possible coverage. All in all, the device is fairly compact around the size of my hand to give you a good indication and easily mountable on a range of different surfaces. Obviously, for the purposes of this video, we're not going to screw uh, the access point into a wall or a ceiling, but I can actually go ahead, take out this mounting plate and show you just how it works. You can see here you've got a variety of different screw holes for mounting, makes things nice and easy. And then you've also got these two clips and sleds in the rear of the router on either side. You can then go ahead and mount the plate on whatever surface you'd like, and then the router will simply slide in and click into place like so. It can then be released using the same catch uh, that we actually secure it down with, and you even get some cable management routing holes, allowing you to run the power adapter or the ethernet cable uh, and make things nice and easy. This allows you to hide cables and make them basically invisible. And when coupled with the recess on the ports, it's an all round pretty polished solution. As far as other key specifications go, this is actually a Wi-Fi 6 router, giving you a much greater amount of bandwidth, especially over Wi-Fi, something that's increasingly important with faster uh, network speeds and bigger data requirements. It also supports up to 256 devices per access point. That means you could have four of these and have over a thousand devices on the proviso that they were split equally across each access point, allowing once again for huge enterprise scale uh, networks from these small little Zixel access points. Before we actually wrap things up, let's go ahead and show you how you connect this up to a network. So you can see here, we've got ourselves an RJ45 ethernet connection coming from our wider network. And we can pop this into the yellow uplink port on the bottom of the router. So simply click this into place and then you can route the cable if you like through these cable management holes or simply have it sit in in a suitable location. If you have a power over ethernet switch, this singular cable will be enough to actually give the uh, router data and a power connection. But if not, you want to go ahead and grab your DC connector. That's this little black brick that comes included as standard and pop this into the port just on the left hand side. So that one goes in like so and that will give uh, the device power. As I say though, if you have a PoE switch, this is completely not required, uh, making one cable nice and easy to manage. Pick yourself up a white cable and it will blend in super, super nicely. And that just about wraps it up for our first look, unboxing and overview of this Zixel wireless access point. If you enjoyed it, get subscribed to see more from me and the eBuyer team. Thanks for tuning in though. And as always, we'll see you soon.